I would say that my work is about the human being, is about the essence of who we are, how we see ourselves in this moment in time. Therefore, I photograph in the nude, but that's because it allows me to be more timeless. That being said, I think that there's this curiosity of constantly recording who we are in this moment, in this decade, and how we see ourselves. My creative process is mostly intuitive. I look at first colors, then I look at what the colors may mean, and I start growing the series from there. In my last series called Private, I first started imagining the sand tonalities, the golden light, the blacks, those were in my mind, and I cannot really explain why they're in my mind, but that would give me a parenthesis to stay within the palette. And once I have the palette, then I started going out, photographing, coming back, looking at the results, going over and over again until I really had something that was starting to come together in a way that to me would make sense. I always used photography in a, in a way as a visual poetry. So at times it makes sense perfectly, and at times it's also interesting not to make sense or to be polar opposites of each other. But in a way, I would always create those images within the parentheses of color. We're very bombarded with too much information, too much noise, and uh, young artists could get lost very easily. So they need to start early a certain presence. And nowadays I would say that social media has become a really interesting tool. I believe that if you are informative and if you have good work and you have something interesting to inform people about, that you will start slowly seeing a resonance and an interest building up about your work. I would say that it's really, really important to have a connection to yourself, to your inner voice, and to allow that to grow inside of you and to feel confident about it. After that, you just need to follow it.